Today we'll be looking at how we can remove special characters from a dataset. I did a little bit of research on Google and first two results yielded some very undesirable ways of handling special characters. For example, these guys are telling you to use substitute um, and then pass in the special characters that you want to remove. But obviously as more and more characters you see appear, you need to substitute even more and more and more. Obviously, that is not the most optimized way of doing things, and quite frankly, I don't believe it is the best method. This second link also shows you more substitute. Um, and this one, I believe, asks you to use some sort of a loop. But again, they are defining a special set of special characters. So if you don't define the special character, it's not going to remove it. Obviously, that is not the best way of handling it. So how are we going to use Power Query to solve a problem? So as you can see, our data set currently has a phone number, an address, and a bunch of other characters that we need to remove. Let's say we won't only want to keep the alphanumeric characters. How do we do that? So we're going to go to data, we're going to get data from table and range, and we're going to open the Power Query editor to manipulate this data. So once it's passed in, uh, this data is already changed to text, but in case it's not, you should change it to text because we're going to add a column, a custom column using the text.select function. So we're going to name this transform, uh, it doesn't matter what you call it. And we're going to call the text.select function. And what this is, is you pass in a criteria of data that you want to transform, and then you define the set of characters you want to keep. So how this is different is that it does not remove the characters that you don't want, but rather it keeps the characters that you do want. And how does that help, right? Let's say we want to keep only the alpha characters. So you pass in A through Z. And what do we have? As you can see, we will only keep the alpha, well, the only alpha characters. However, you notice that all of the capitalized letters have been excluded. And that's because in Power Query, everything is case sensitive. So if you pass in capitalized letters, you will see that all the capitalized letters will be kept. So how do we get only alpha characters with both lowercase and uppercase? Well, you simply add to whatever you want to keep. So we're going to pass another set of range. And in this updated formula, we're keeping both the lowercase and uppercase. And as you can see, now we have both caps and no caps. And how this, uh, so how do I build upon this further, right? Let's say now you want to keep both alpha numeric characters. Well, all you have to do is pass in the numbers as well. It is the same method. You pass zero through nine, which has all of the numbers. And now you have alpha numeric only. But of course, if this was a true set of data that you want to cleanse, uh, this data looks kind of strange without a space, so I'm going to pass the space as well. And uh, yeah, it looks way better. So as you can see, this also gets rid of these European characters, the uh, A, the E, and the U with the squiggly marks, they are removed. And of course, when you're writing these formulas with substitutes, you're never going to be able to cover every single special characters out there. But with this method, all you have to do is pass in the characters that you do want to keep, and it basically removes everything else. Um, so yeah, the world is your at your command. You basically choose your own adventure, define the things that you want to keep, and it'll get rid of everything else that you don't need. So close and load, and here is the final transformed data. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that 
short tutorial on how to remove special characters. Stay tuned for future videos where I go over additional functionality in Power Query. Until next time.